Hey guys, Pastor Chris here with today's lesson. Now, before we get into our lesson, did you know that I have four children? Yeah, we have four kids. Our oldest is Kaysen, and then Corey Grace, and then Cade, and our youngest is Carter. Now, what if one day I came to all the kids, and then I, I pointed out to Carter, our youngest, and I said, Carter, you are our most favorite child. We love you more than any of the other kids, and you are so special to us, and we gave Carter a special gift. And just Carter got the special present, and, and, and it was all about Carter. How do you think the other kids would feel? How would you feel if that happened to you? If you were with uh, your family or your friends and, and only one kid got picked uh, out of all of them and said, you are our very favorite and our very most special kid ever, and only one kid got the present, only one kid got a really special gift, only one of the siblings, and you were left out, how would that make you feel? that might make you pretty upset. You might be mad at mom or dad or your, or your aunt or your grandma or whoever it was, maybe it was a teacher or a friend that gave the special gift and you got left out. And then you might get a little jealous or a little mad at, at the one uh, who got the special gift. Now, today's lesson um, happened to be about Joseph. Joseph had 11 brothers. <laughs> that is a lot. Joseph's dad, his name is Jacob. And Jacob, it says in the Bible, had 12 sons. And one of them, his name is Joseph. And Joseph had a special present that was given to him by Jacob, his dad. Joseph had this, this special coat. It was called the coat of many colors. Now, the brothers, um, they knew that their dad liked Joseph a lot. And they knew that Joseph was their dad's favorite. And one day, Jacob sent Joseph to go check on the other brothers who were out uh, helping with the sheep. And while Joseph was on the way, the brothers who didn't like Joseph decided to make a plan. They um, thought about uh, selling Joseph to some people, some travelers that were on their way to Egypt. And so they took Joseph and they sold him to these travelers. Now, when they got home, the dad was like, whoa, where's Joseph? And the brother said, oh no, he is dead. Something terrible has happened to him. There was lions and bears and tigers and, and they ate up poor Joseph. When really, they sold Joseph into uh, Egypt. And when the travelers got to Egypt, there was a man named Potiphar. Can you say Potiphar? Potiphar, right. Potiphar was a wealthy man. And Potiphar bought Joseph from those travelers. And Potiphar put Joseph over all of his household. And Joseph worked hard. But one day... Potiphar's wife told a lie. She didn't tell the truth about Joseph. And so Joseph got in big trouble. And they put him in jail. And there, while he was in jail, do you know who was still with Joseph? God. God was still with Joseph. And God helped Joseph uh, know what dreams meant. So when people had, had dreams, Joseph could tell them the big meaning behind their dreams. And one day, Pharaoh had a dream, and he was very upset because he didn't know what it meant. But do you know who did? God. And God allowed Joseph to tell Pharaoh what that dream meant. And Pharaoh's dreams were about cows, and they were about wheat, and they were about a famine. And so Joseph told Pharaoh, that you were going to have seven, everybody put up their seven, seven, seven years of really abundant, a lot of food, a lot of crop. But then after those seven years, you're going to have seven years of no food or famine there, where, where things uh, like your food and your bread and, and all of that, 
it's not going to grow. So you're going to need to save the food from the seven good years for the seven hard years. And so they did that. And, and not only did Joseph get to come out of jail, but now Pharaoh put Joseph over a lot of the whole country of Egypt. And so the people were able to eat because of what God did through Joseph. Now, Joseph's brothers, they were struggling to eat. They were having a hard time. And so Jacob sent the other brothers to Egypt to get food. And they didn't know it, but Joseph was there. And Joseph met with the brothers, but do you know what? The brothers didn't recognize him. Until one day, Joseph revealed himself to his brothers and revealed himself to his dad. His dad was so excited. Jacob was so excited to see his son because he thought he was dead. And he hugged him and he loved him and he cried happy tears. Now, Jacob was getting older. And one day, during this time, Jacob died. And the brothers got scared because they were worried that Joseph would now hurt them. But do you know what Joseph said? Joseph said, don't worry. What you did was wrong and it was bad. But God was doing something greater and bigger. And what you did that was bad, God used it for good. And God was with me. And God helped use the bad things that you did to save the people, to help the people of Egypt, and to help God's people, and to give them food, and to give them good things. Now this is also a lot like the story of Jesus. But Jesus' story is greater. Because Jesus, there was something bad that happened to Jesus. Do you guys remember on the cross? What did Jesus do? Do you remember? Yes, Jesus died on the cross. The soldiers um, beat him and they hurt him. And Jesus died on the cross. But Jesus died to do something great, to pay for our sin, to save us from our sin, and to save us that one day we could go to heaven, right? If we turn away from our sin and we trust in Jesus, Jesus paid our penalty. He paid our price for our sin. And so what looked like something bad, right, was really, really good because Jesus didn't stay dead. What do we celebrate on Easter? The day that Jesus rose. That's right. Three days after Jesus died, he came back to life. And Jesus gives us life and he saves us from our sin. So what looked like something bad with Joseph, what looked like something bad with Jesus, turned out to be something good. The work of God saving his people. We love you and hope you have a great day. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. So this is Joseph. Hey! You see, Joseph was the son of Israel and Rachel. Israel loved Joseph more than all 12 of his sons. In fact, he made Joseph a coat to show him how much he loved him. <laughs> when Joseph's brothers saw this, they hated Joseph. <laughs> One night, Joseph had a dream. When he awoke, Joseph told the dream to his brothers. He said, Listen to this dream I had. We were gathering grain when suddenly my bundle of grain rose up and all of you bowed to me. This made his brothers hate Joseph even more. And they said, you're gonna rule over us? Then Joseph had another dream. And he told it to his brothers and his father. He said, 
Listen, I had another dream. And this time, the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. This time, Israel heard the dream and rebuked Joseph, saying, Will your mother and brothers and I actually come and bow down before you? The brothers were even more angry when they heard the second dream. Israel, however, decided to think about what Joseph was saying. One day, Joseph's brothers were working when they saw Joseph coming to meet them. One of his brothers mocked him and said, here comes the dreamer. Come on now, let's kill him and throw him away to be devoured by a ferocious animal. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. One of the brothers named Reuben wanted to rescue Joseph, so he said, let us not take his life. Instead, throw him in the pit. Yeah. So when Joseph came to his brothers, hey. they attacked him. Yeah. They took the robe their father had given Joseph. They hoisted Joseph up and threw him into the well. Uh. Then they saw a group of men from Midian coming towards them. Judah thought it would be a good idea to sell Joseph to these men. So the brothers sold Joseph to the merchants for 20 shekels. The brothers then took the coat of many colors back to their father and made him believe that Joseph had been killed. Israel wept for his son, whom he loved. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken as a slave to Egypt to work in the house of a man named Potiphar. For Joseph's story was only just beginning. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh. Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha. So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah. And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. 